Hello fellow Primo lovers. Today I'm showing you how I made this dark academia inspired altered pumpkin. I used several different molds for this project, including some molds from the Lost in Wonderland collection, the plant department, Finna Bear's mirror frames, and Redesign's delicate flora. I start by adding some baby powder to each of the molds before pressing in the paper clay. I used a craft scraper to scrape the excess paper clay off and demold the design. To attach the molds to the pumpkin, I painted some of Finna Bear's soft matte gel onto the back of each mold, then gently pressed each mold onto the pumpkin. When demolding some of the more delicate designs, like the ferns, be sure to take your time. But because this is dark academia inspired, don't worry about imperfections or even cracking in your molds. I let my molds dry overnight as that seems to work best in my high altitude dry climate. Then I primed the entire pumpkin with Finna Bear's black gesso. This is to make sure that the paint sticks to the skin of the pumpkin well and doesn't peel or crack off later. After the gesso dried, I mixed up a custom dusty dark green paint using the same black gesso and Finna Bear's Impasto paint in bottle green. I like to mix up my paint on a piece of plastic packaging and mixed up more than I knew I would need to have some for touch-ups later, so have an empty jar on hand for your extra paint. I painted the entire pumpkin in the dark green paint. When painting on this layer, it's okay if you miss spots. Letting the black show through in spots really does add some dimension, especially to the molds. After letting the green paint completely dry, I worked on highlighting the raised areas of the molds. I placed a small amount of Finna Bear's Metallique Wax in Emerald and Opal Magic Wax in Brocade Green onto a piece of plastic packaging. I start by applying the darker of the two waxes, Emerald, to all of the raised areas of the molds. To darken up some areas, you can go over spots with a second layer of wax. Then I went over certain areas with the lighter green. If you find that your wax is really soft, you can make it a bit stickier by dabbing your finger on the plastic multiple times. This will help thicken it up just a bit so that you can apply it better. To blend the two waxes a bit, use a clean finger to rub the two hues together. If you get wax on the pumpkin accidentally where you don't want it, or you get some waxy fingerprints on the pumpkin while working, use your leftover paint to touch it up. After the pumpkin is dried, I added flowers from Lost in Wonderland and Twilight. I start by prepping the stemmed flowers by curling the stem. I also ripped the green leaves off the backs of the other flowers. Then I layer on flowers, sisal fibers, and lace using heavy body gel, creating a flower cluster on each side of the mirror frame. 
I cut the stems off the stemmed flowers and add those stems exactly where I want them. So add a flower and stem to the top of the pumpkin with more heavy body gel. Then I added a few die cut leaves to the flower clusters to add a little bit of a delicate touch. Finally, I added some green memory hardware pearls and some crystals from the Twilight Collection. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy crafting!